Um, gonna try and make this one quite quick. Um, I just thought um, when you're modelling cars, especially, um, sometimes in some cases you want to make um, a spring or some form of suspension, depending on how exposed they are. So what I've done here, I've got one curve there, another curve there, and then just a circle. These can be set to whatever size you need them to be. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the rail tool. <coughs> and I'm going to have one generation curve and one rail curve. And I'm going to set this to natural. I'll leave that on closest. And the fixed curve is going to be the rail. And the generation curve is going to move. And normally this would be set to one or something by default. I'm going to type in the number of turns I want this to be in degrees. So 360 degrees will rotate this once along that curve. I'll, I'll show that to demonstrate. So if I do that curve and that curve and then put that 360 degrees you notice it has rotated once. Now I've had a I play with this and I've tried to reduce the number of spans and it just will not do anything to um, reduce the number of spans so don't ask me why it does that I think it's because it's just a, a single generation which is quite annoying because this will mean that the tube will be quite well naff so anyway um, what I could do is I could then do another rail using two rail curves and select that curve first and then I'll select these edges and then see what that does in terms of the surface and I'll just, try, I'll just give that as, as much as it's possible until it's happy yeah so if I were to now delete the first one, that means that's a, a much nicer surface. But it's not so much that surface you're going to keep, it's more um, this edge that you want to use. Um, but what I'll do, I'll do a full brown one first. So we'll give it a few more, we'll put maybe 1200. Just give us a fair few, so we we'll go with that. And now I'm going to just rebuild that because I'll demonstrate now. If I use the profile tool and click on that curve, click done, and then use that as the curve to extrude the profile, you'll see it gets lots of spans, a lot of it, 66 spans. Um, so it's not ideal. I mean, it's only a, a detail thing on a, a CAD model, unless you're getting rapid prototypes or something. But it's quite a heavy surface, so let's try and reduce this. Um, I'm just going to delete this, the actual spring. And I'm going to do, as I did earlier, get the rail tool again. And then I'm going to select that as my generation and then these as my rails uh, it doesn't look like it likes that at all oh dear um, I'm going to rebuild the rails see if that helps nope rebuild generation Turn the explicit control off, see if that does anything. So it's, it's done. It looks mildly better than this one. Oh no, they're not they're the same. Um, let's try that again. Maybe we'll try the square tool. So, row. 
surface edge. And then that curve. And what we'll do. Change all this continuity to free and try adding some spans in to see see what we can get this reduced down to. And number two clearly don't need to do anything. Number two. Oh dear. Alright, unfortunately <laughs> this isn't gonna be a good way of doing it. I'll try 2 plus 2 rail, see if that helps. And... Yeah, it just doesn't seem to enjoy this at all. Unfortunately, that's what's going to happen. So, I'll try this and then we'll see if we can play around the actual profile settings. So, maybe that's parallel. Nope. So, if it's normal, nope. Radial seems to be the best one. Uh, explicit control, multiple surfaces is busier. The surfaces, uh, it doesn't want to do it. I'm just trying to find the, the best way of making a, a half decent surface, and this clearly isn't going to do it. No joy whatsoever. Unfortunately, it will just create a um, really heavy surface, which is such a shame. <laughs> but hey, for bez use the, the bezier surface it should make it into multiple surfaces yeah that's the best option so click on that button there and it'll separate them into individual surfaces rather than putting spans in um, not ideal but so then what you can do is now that you've got a decent surface out of that just delete the one in the middle and then you will obviously be able to pick these up as individual surfaces, which is not what you want, really. Um, especially if it comes to animating at a later date. So, um, you also want to cap the ends. So, if you go to palette and you set planar, click on the, the circle itself and press enter, and what it's done there is it's just capped it and then do the same at the top and then what I like to do and this is probably the, one of the rare times to use uh, actually I'll use a fillet tool to get a better result with surface fillet so I'm just going to use surface fillet, I'll stick it on cord and I'll, I'll just put it on G2 and then put the radius to something like 5 for now and just we'll just see how it goes and I'll try and keep it to a 3 and a 3 or 5 and 5 in this case. So I'm going to select that surface and then I'm just going to select the profile and see how that does. Okay so that's quite happy. So 
I'll increase that to say, say 15, 25 maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. And only because when you're rendering your model, a radid will add to the realism rather than having a, a squared off edge. And then I'll just do the same down here. And for some reason, it's not trimmed this for whatever reason, which is fine. I'll just delete that manually. And it's because something weird has happened there. I'll put the surface fill it again. I'm just going to make these two default and then update. See if that does anything, which it hasn't. Uh, we'll try G3 and see if that does anything better. Basically, it's not trimming it because there's a gap there. It's not complete. It's not making a complete circle. And it might be a case of it needs to be a smaller radius for some bizarre reason. Again, this is where it gets a bit hit and miss. Or it's an error that's with that actual surface for some bizarre reason unknown to me. What I'll do, I'll just do a three form blend in that gap there. And then I'm going to select um, that surface, I'm just going to trim that and get rid of that. And then I'm going to select all these surfaces, but then I'm going to deselect that. I'm just going to intersect all those with that. Yeah, there's something weird going on there. That's just such an annoying thing. All right. Surfaces. I'm just gotta delete those fillets and I'm gonna delete the curves on the surface. Oh, honestly don't know why it's doing that. Um so the last resort would be uh to use the round tool. I'm going to set that to 25 like the other one. And how's that worked? That's worked, but then you see why I don't use the round tool, how many spans you've got there. And also, it doesn't do it in curvature, so you get a crease on it and you get a crease there. Hence why I don't use that. But if that's, so if you compare that one to that one, you can see the difference. much better finish on those edges compared to those edges but yeah anyway that's it so that's how you do that and then you could do um, real quickly just do a profile for So I'm doing here is you could literally just do a couple of revolves, just model a cross section, 
and do that as a free form. Why does it think I'm still doing it? Oh, global. Yeah, so you do that, you just create same way you do a wheel or something, you create a profile of you, the mount that you want the suspension to be, and then spring and you do all the bits and bobs but using the revolt the revolve tool anyway. And then just go to visualize and I'll just show you what it looks like visualized. So we'll get a Metal, go for zinc, and then paints. We'll go for a red, and we'll top of the model. Now I'll just do all those surfaces, apart from those two, and the red. Then I'll do that, and that. I'll do that in the zinc. And then just show you what it's going to kind of look like. Again, you could f fill this, add a red to it, and do the same for the bottom. Put the tops on, but you get the idea. That's how you do a spring in anus. Oh, and before I go, uh, if you just then select all the spring, and then if you press Command G, it'll group that model. So then you should be able to just select that object as a whole. I've got a feeling it hasn't, it hasn't. Right, I'm going to ungroup that for some reason when it wants to actually catch up and do it. Alright, it's not picking the ends for some reason, which is beyond me as to why. What you can do is just stitch it instead. So I'll then go to Surface Edit, Stitch, select all the surfaces you want to stitch, and then just click Stitch and Next. And what it does, it leaves your original surfaces, but then it creates a shell. And that shell will literally be when it wants to catch up just one solid object rather than multiple surfaces, which is what I tend to do with wheels. I tend to stitch them just so that when it comes to rendering it, it's just one object as opposed to hundreds of surfaces. But I'll leave it up. Cool.